Ladies and gentlemen, grab on to your seats. You are in for a treat with the one, the only, Mr. Max. So grab what you need and bring your ass back here. Because we about to get into it in the circus. Yes, the circus continues. Now I know damn well Blueface mama and daddy ain't feuding, feuding with each other again. Now we done been through this shit so many times. Yes, we finna hear Carla, Carlissa, Mama Car Car, big mouth ass talk. I'm sick of it. Blueface is locked up. She ain't got shit else to do. It's like she just keep trying to get clout off her kids. I heard word on the street is allegedly her husband the one that she's married with from the divorce has because she can't seem to get off the phone. All she do is go live and talk about her kids. Talk about the grandkids, talk about the baby mamas, yada, 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 yada. It's the same ass old story with Carlos. Okay? But anyway, I'm here for the circus. Y'all here for the circus, so we finna get into it. Carlos versus Papa Blue. Take one. Let's get it. <laughs> Hit that like, be sure to follow and subscribe. Taking the time for the rest of my Okay, so Papa Blue was out with Krishan. He's speaking Team House Blues VIP members only. Blue trusted team standing on business. Okay, so Bob Blue basically saying like he got best he got him and Krishan got what's best for blue face interest. So Mama Carla saying here that she she wasn't feeling that. You know she woke up in the morning and brushed her teeth. Breath probably finna melt the damn phone. And she she just went off. She was going off on Blueface Dad and just exposing his ass, I guess. But anyway, I'm gonna let y'all talk later. Okay. Never told John, even when he stole that hundred thousand dollars, my right hand, my left hand to God. Even when he stole that hundred thousand dollars, I looked my son in the face and said, That's your dad, son. No matter what kind of dad God gives you, that's still your dad. You don't let no motherfucker that, that's manage you that's gonna come get some money from your ass too tell you not to fuck with your dad. That's your dad. No matter if your dad stole from you, got a crackhead dad, whatever kind of parents y'all have, that's still your dad. It don't matter. Yes, it does I matter. Do I could have said fuck that nigga. See, this is, is just, the- this, this is just shit I'm talking about. This is poor, poor treatment. If this nigga... So you say, Carlos, I think y'all probably split that money 50 50 because you just as dirty as that nigga is. Let's keep it 100, okay? We ain't finna beat around the bush. We ain't finna bullshit or none of that, Mama Car Car. I believe you and Daddy Blue, whatever, split that shit half and half 50 50. Come on, that's just your dad. How many times have y'all got on a nigga blue face before? See, this is why I say some family ain't shit, y'all. And if you be successful in this world, be sure. Man, if anything, give it to your... If you got kids, give it to your kids, man. Because, look, some motherfuckers be dirty, man. I'm just trying to tell you. $100,000. Up out of here. You rich now. We don't need that motherfucker. Did I say that? No, I said, let your broke-ass, bum-ass daddy come in here and eat on your table. Steal. Mm. Now, I'm going to find your nephew that you robbed him with. And I'm going to get that interview out of him because the nephew said you took all the money and blanked it on him. Oh, damn. Either way it go, you never... Ooh. My son, it was a hundred thousand dollars, and he running around jumping on motherfucking cars, doing free fucking concerts, and you watching my baby out there sweating the motherfucking heat while y'all bitch asses is collecting my baby's check. Don't think I forgot just because I forgave. Don't mm. think I forgot just because I forgave. It's Carlos. And don't ever think because tea. I forgave you, motherfuckers, I haven't told God about it. Oh, is she lying? You will not eat off my son's plate. You will not. You ordered mother. Is you saying he won't eat off your son's plate because you want to eat off his plate, or you is you just saying that because you care and you just sincere, Carlos? Which one is? Because uh, make it make sense. Fuckers that try to turn him against me, you will starve in this land because you did not bear no sacrifice to my child or for my child. Mm. You motherfuckers, all that think y'all hands is out. Every dollar you get's gonna float away. You're gonna starve if this if it's concerning mine, just for talking shit about me. Bet you don't eat. Bet your grandkids don't eat neither. 
fuck is you talking about? Now, I didn't have enough about y'all playing with my name. I stood on my feet so motherfucking long. I got bunions on my motherfucking... Just hope you brush your teeth this morning, Carlos. I just hope... <laughs> I just hope before you look out on that live, you didn't just fix your wig and put on clothes. I hope you wash that ass. Because I hope that camera and that phone, the angle that you hold it don't smell like bounce that ass. I'm just saying, Carlissa, come on now. Your feet had to get surgery. A bitch was out here grinding for these bitches. I, I hope your neck don't stink. <laughs> you like the type of woman that grow a lot of hair under your arms. I hope you shave your armpits, shorty, before you got up this morning. Before you make this video, Carlissa, I hope you got it together. This is why they say your husband leaving your ass. You go live too many times. You care about the live more than him. Allegedly, okay? That's what the street's saying, y'all. Now, don't shoot me. I'm just a messenger. I'm just trying to tell you. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. Now, none of you motherfuckers work 12 hours a day to hand a white motherfucker your God whole goddamn check just to teach your son how to throw a ball or to teach your son how to read at these white folks' level. Now, don't let none of these motherfuckers fake fool you. I'm the only one who can't spell. I went to college and I still can't spell. But Jonathan, what? Janice, and Andre, these motherfuckers is faking. They're fakes and they're frauds. All of them is faking. These motherfuckers read their scholarship contract before they signed it when they were 17 motherfucking years old. They was on the hot list for, for colleges since they was in eighth motherfucking grade. This ain't brand new shit. My kids been signing contracts since they was five years old. Blueface had $100,000 in the bank at six years old. Fuck as y'all think this is. I'm not you. You not me. Yeah, because you was pimping your kids. Why well, I say most of your kids fucked up cards. So listen, I know they got dark fast. I hope you ain't put them on no Disney commercials or nothing like that. Because we already know how Disney Nickelodeon was getting down. Mama car car. You is not making yourself look good in no way, shite, line, or form, or way that you are fucking saying. You are actually making yourself look bad and crazy at the end of the day. Fuck you talking about. Get on your game, though. Don't be sitting up here hating because I stayed on mine. Yes, I didn't get to be that mother at home that got to hug and wipe her, wipe the kids' boo-boos and kiss them and do all of this. But I was that you motherfucker was out who came that home, home and made sure that tutor got... Cause you was out there home. We heard the stories from Blueface. We have heard the stories. Do I need to go play the Blueface stories of what he said about you, Carlissa? And how you used to do him as a kid? Let's not fucking go there. See, there you go. With that dragon breath. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. <laughs> Tell the truth, yeah, Mama Carlissa. Right? I was that motherfucker. When, you, when I asked him where my son took his SAT test, if he's a real motherfucking father, Cause my husband know, cause he paid for it. Ask that motherfucker where my son took his SATs, and he didn't say my son only had to take SATs one motherfucking time. Now some of y'all don't know what we talking about, and that's okay. You don't know. That's your mama fault. Oh, that was my mm -hmm. mama fault too. I didn't know neither. Who don't know what the SATs is? I hope everybody wants to know what the SATs is. You motherfuckers who, who take SATs, who got your kids in SAT prep and all that, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. When I say Jonathan took his SAT one motherfucking time when the Sierra Canyon rich motherfuckers had fake ass people come. I don't think I don't know. I seen Billy show up for Tyrone. Billy was not Tyrone. Tyrone wasn't Billy. Billy showed up. Y'all paid that motherfucker sometimes ten thousand dollars to go in there and take that at test no my son showed that's jonathan motherfucking porter his broke ass mama paying for class after practice after that's crazy they cheat on the for SAT SATs like that? In seventh fucking grade when he sat oh, down and man. took that motherfucking test he was the first one up and out that bitch if you know you know Jonathan and Callie took SATs. Boom, done. One deal. One. Do okay, Callie took it twice. I'm lying. Callie took it twice. Callie took it twice, but that's because she had ADHD. Callie took the SATs twice. Blue took the SAT once. 
Dre went to jail while he was studying for his. Hello, somebody. I know, I know you don't know. I know you don't know nothing about what it takes to pass an SAT. And that motherfucker <laughs> can't tell you where my son took his SAT at. Oh, he don't know. God. He don't even know how much it cost. She he he can't tell man. you where my son to ask that motherfucker. Where did your son take his SATs in 10th grade? Not 11th grade, not 12th grade. My son passes SATs in 10th grade. Ask that motherfucker where. If you a mother in here, you know what I'm talking about. If you a real mother, these fake motherfuckers, this ain't for you. I'm only talking to the motherfuckers on my level. I'm not talking to the motherfuckers whose mama left them in the goddamn crack house or walked off with another bitch and was gay for the rest of her life and said, fuck her kids. I'm not talking about you, motherfuckers. Damn. I'm talking about the mothers who is right now either having their kids practice them SATs or studying to take them or just took them or got to take the motherfuckers again because they didn't pass what the, what the college requirement was. Because you can't just get a scholarship, baby. You got to pass your motherfucking SATs, hand that paper over to them white people just to get into that schoolhouse. Come on, somebody. That's true. I, I, didn't get, I didn't get one kid SAT and NCAA approved, ESPN top one, 100, top, top 10. I had two. A boy and a girl. All Leo. Yes, all me. Call it what the fuck you want to. You mother and my son who went to my son who went to prison, I still got his diploma up. Still got his diploma upstairs. I got his good enough to talk to a motherfucker who got straight A's and straight B's students. They it was college eligible. Okay, now shout out to y'all motherfuckers that's getting kids with them 3.8s and them 4.0s. Hallelujah. She Thank spit you, the Jesus game, team. though. I ain't gonna lie to My you. My kids was full-time athletes and full-time students at the highest level in the game. Kelly Talk played for Diana Taurasi for three years on the top team. ESPN, Nike Nationals, bitch. Fuck is you talking about? From a single mom. Now make sure you add all of my statistics up, bitch, when you're doing your numbers. Add my statistics <laughs> up. Put that single mom twist. I'm fucking done, man. I cannot with her. She do she do too much. Like Carlos, what is on that going? bitch? And then tell me where you land. You could Google where I was supposed to land. And I guarantee you, it ain't where your ass is at. It ain't put in blood, sweat, and fucking tears. I got off my long day job at the motherfucking mall. 12 hour days as a mall manager then went and got in that fucking car and uber for four father to him i never told john even when he stole that hundred thousand dollars my right and my okay carlos voice i just can't do too much but hey that seems to be all we got in the circus that's going on y'all carlos are talking a whole bunch of mess wow nah, that was her i can't agree with she did Paid the way for her kids to be successful and do what they need to do to get what they need to go to be where they need to be today okay now word on the street is i've also heard that since blueface is in jail i guess his mama and his sister doing anything on zeus like his sister just scored a role on baddies she gonna be on the next season and I guess Carlissa got some show or something going on. I don't know if it's an executive producer type shit situation or what it is, but that's what the word on the street is, okay? Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just here to reveal, okay? Anyway, we're going to continue. Shouts out to Krishan and Baby June. I will not stand in your way. But inevitably. Your home is. He's so cute. Shame on anybody talking about a baby. That baby, y'all better stop. Because I roast somebody. You look. All right. Y'all ain't ready for the smoke. I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> I know, y'all. Just like y'all. I'm tired. I'm tired of Carlissa, too. Okay. Don't shoot the messenger now. We got to listen to what messy mama car car say. Okay. We can just listen. We ain't got to believe the shit. Okay. <laughs> you ain't gotta believe <laughs> Believe in 
but we're gonna listen, okay? Let's take a gander. Oh, excuse me. Now you in the pool, Carlissa. Look, Carlissa look like she done went to the hotel. She in the pool, chilling, relaxing. Let's see what she finna talk about. I, I, Carlissa went live to talk about Blueface, his choices, his fa- his favorite bit baby mama, Krishan, and his favorite parent, his daddy, I guess. So triggered by them being his most trusted team that she has to go online and bash them all day for no reason. You see, the reason why she bashed them is Carlissa is probably, she ain't making no money. She making less money when Blueface was in jail than he was out, okay? Let me just tell y'all that, okay? Carlissa ain't got, she ain't got too much going on. Like I told y'all before, she got that Zeus thing coming up. She did that one episode of Zeus, okay? And that's only because, you know, she had the beef. With Black China Mama. Tokyo. That's it. Other than that, she ain't making no noise. She gotta do these lives because you gotta put in number somewhere. She probably get paid off Instagram or something like that. Okay. That's the only check I see Mama Car Car got coming in. Now that blue face locked up. So she got to keep the circus going. She gotta keep it interesting. She gotta keep coming. She gotta keep going live. Okay. That's what she do. And at the same time, it's addicting for her. She's a dad. She has a very addictive personality, and it's all for being seen and being heard. Okay, it's the adrenaline rush. Some people do drugs; they take drugs and they do what they do. This is her drug. Okay, look at that face. She fiends for the camera. She fiends for the attention and the audience. Y'all can say what y'all want. I just wrote that shit down. Facts, perfectly. Hit the like, subscribe, and subscribe to TV. Hey, Jay. What's up, Maddie? Good morning, pretty. Lovable. Lovable Lou. Hey y'all, good Saturday morning. It's okay. Happy Saturday to you too. Enjoy this weather. Yes, ma'am. If y'all get blocked, y'all gotta go to Bree. I'm sending you to Bree if you get blocked. Hey, Selena, where you at, girl? Did y'all have fun yesterday? I was going to try to go with y'all, but I was still trying to make up with Mr. Sappho. Tell Blue to make Rock take the baby to the freaking doctors. As y'all know, he's still not speaking to me because I would not apologize to Jaden, so... He's still not speaking to me, so I, you'd have to tell me your son, honey. Give the message to my son yourself. I know and damn well she just didn't lie like that. He is not on talking to you because you didn't talk to Jaden because you want to apologize. Stop lying, Carla. So he wasn't talking to you before that. You are a messy ass mama. He said that. He said he cut your ass off because you don't act like a grandma. You, you do too much. You're embarrassing. His words, not nobody else, okay? So stop fucking lying for the camera. Um, Again. You no, know, my sister got me fasting from Sunday to Sunday for Easter. So I'm probably not going to attempt myself. So I start a fast with my sister tomorrow for Easter from Sunday to Sunday. Why are you always causing drama out of nowhere? Girl, it be because y'all don't see the inboxes that I get, and then y'all just be like, dang, where'd she come from with that? It be the inboxes from all the fan base of this one and that one, and then, you know, my son's manager, and now his dad talking shit, Dre talking shit. I really don't give a fuck. 
but I be addressing shit so I don't have to address it twice. So it might look like, oh my gosh, she's always talking shit, but I'm always wake up with somebody on some weird shit. And you know me, I don't know how to not address it. I'm trying to learn how to at least address it with a with a kind heart. But y'all don't know them on inboxes. Is, <laughs> they be inboxing, honey. The inboxes be inboxing. So y'all just be caught in the middle of me responding to somebody. So just try to overlook it sometime and let's just try to stay focused and positive on six side that's breaking record numbers for a, a um, independent, okay? Somebody's independent mammy. Out here putting shows and content out real, absolutely real live shows and content. Um... Yes, Tokyo Tony did tell me about a show that they have in mind for us. So, yes, I do know about that. She told me that when I met her. Um, however, I haven't decided any yes or no's yet. Um, I'm not being content, Lord. I'm not content with where I'm at. I'm just gracefully trying to make decisions that won't bite me in the ass later. See, Mama Clark Clark got deals on the line. Just pray and don't entertain. She ain't doing shit else, though. But sometimes it's not about entertaining them; it's about correcting what's what their what their thought process of me is. Because if I don't tell them, then I, I I they won't know. And I have a right in this country and in my spirit, I have a right to defend myself because I know the truth. I was a very damn good mother to them. You can tell by all the videos and photos and birthday cards that they've sent me over the years that whenever they throw a temper tantrum or they can't get their way, this morning I was forced to post to defend myself why me and my son are not speaking. And you can clearly see that he wants me to apologize to Jaden. <laughs> but I never told my son that oh, Jaden talked geez, to me that darling. way because I was leaving that between me and her so that we could fix it i wasn't trying to include my son and me and Jaden's, you know back behind the scenes problem so my son did not know that Jaden was out here talking reckless and crazy to me me at it between text messages between me and her what did she say that was reckless so and crazy once to i you, told like him what i said he just not. got quiet and that's fine because if you don't fuck with my man i probably probably it's gonna get a little quiet can't really pull up on us how you want to and I, I gotta respect that that's his that that was what was going on so that's what it was but he didn't know what we was talking about behind the scenes and he still probably don't know why we was talking the way we was talking you know what I'm saying but you see how that turned out so I'm always right I ain't never in the wrong because I'm not about to never tell them no wrong when i'm right i'm right like i so told the, the end, lady this morning right. that was talking shit you right. didn't know that i was behind the right. scenes <laughs> that making sure that my son did the right you thing me a nigga for his, get rich to uh, uh, biologicals to and the one that he wasn't claiming so sometimes y'all don't get to see and y'all first y'all was saying i wasn't holding them accountable now y'all saying i'm holding them too much accountable y'all can't never make up y'all mind but at the end of the day my job is to make sure that cool they whether they cussing me out saying down. i ain't shit or however they Ooh, feel is Marcia. based on their the advice that i give them if they don't like it they flip mode if they like what i'm what i say then we don't have no problems and that's just most spoiled rotten ass kids you see what i'm saying because the week before that me and Jaden was fine then when I told her, you know, we still got to accept the baby. If that's his baby, that's the kid's brother and sister. Then it was flip mode. Flip mode. Fuck you, bitch. It's time to flip. And I'm going to flip right with you. I don't have a problem with flipping. We can flip all day. But then y'all don't see behind the scenes why it looked like I'll be flipping. Because it's like, wait, now I'm I'm rocking with you. I done went to war with Krishan. I done flip -flop. got John yeah. to do right, check on this baby, do all this stuff. And then it's fuck you, bitch, die. You know what I'm saying? Now it's flip mode again. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm okay with the flipping. I'm still going to say what I got to say at the end of the day, no matter what, whether they like it or not. Oh, Jonathan, daddy, he sold this, he sold that. Bitch, come on now. 
The motherfucker is almost 60, getting evicted, homeless, uh, don't know where his other grandkids is at. We could clearly see what's going on here. Y'all oh, can keep trying to ignore what the fuck I'm saying and Josh turn our brain on y'all Papa want Joe. to. I'm still going to be over <laughs> here rotating Papa, on Mr. Uh, Sappho, Papa Blue. eating like a That's queen, <laughs> treating like a princess, and, and still telling these kids when they wrong and then when and they right. That, oh, they don't Papa like Joe. it. They flip mode. I'm going to start saying flip mode. Here we go. Because the week before that, I, I was getting Dre a place to stay. And, you know, he got a nice little place. I'm, I'm talking time. about a million dollar spot. He ain't no in no hood, <laughs> nowhere. He, he he doing real good, okay? Got him a nice little spot set up. Went shopping with him. Got him all organized. Even did like the little college pail kit, the cleaning kit. Did all that for this nigga, okay? Then went and got him a little car. Make sure he could get from A to B so he could get to a job on time. Set him up for success. So if he don't want to shoot the show with me, he could just go work a job and do what he want to do, how he want to do it. Went and helped him with his paperwork with his kid. Then one motherfucking day when my man said, it's time for him to go to his place because he had his own place, but he was still over here. I don't know whether he was scared to be over there or like to talk to people, don't like to be alone from the jail shit. I don't know, but my husband wanted his space. And as soon as I said, Dre, it's time for you to go on over to your space, it turned into flip mode again. Here we go, flip mode. So as soon as I tell my kids, no, they're not used to me having a man that I put before them. They're not used to me telling them no, just like John with the restaurant. I mean, I'm not about to keep going to the restaurant after your bitch done put me down. You get, get her to do it. Now you can't get her to do it. Now you ain't got no restaurant. These motherfuckers can't count. They can't read. They can't add shit up. They can't run no restaurant because a real bitch would have went in there and had that motherfucker rocking and rolling like your mama. We don't need your mama. Now, that, now they I in your house. Ain't fuck, no money coming in. The, the house fuck falling all a fucking part. The restaurant. I mean, I'm just saying. They could have. That was a good investment. So fix that motherfucker up and get that shit back in motion. But to eat. To- Close down. You got kids over here and kids over there and it's turning into a Carlissa, stop doing the duck lips. You do not look cute. Stop. That shit is not it. You too old to be doing the duck lips, Carlissa. That shit stops at 50. (laughs) Shit, 30, to be honest. The fuck? If you are over the age of 30 years old and you're a woman, please stop doing the duck lips. That shit is not attractive, okay? I said it. Somebody got to say it, okay? What's up, Maddie? I ain't trying to hurt nobody's feelings. I'm just keeping it for real, okay? So... Yeah, no duck lips, Carla. So you too old for that. I'm just saying. And from the looks of it, look like you ain't brush your teeth. I knew. I know Jaden was hurting. Uh, any woman would be hurting about a whole baby. Hell, it took Wendy Williams out. I don't know what I would do if Mrs. Sappho brought home a baby. So I know that could be a painful feeling. I knew. I know Jaden was hurting. Uh, any woman would be hurting. I don't worship my son the way y'all do like nigga you not really doing shit you're not really doing shit for me you're not really doing shit for yourself or your kids but you living off your son though and everything that goes on with his world and his world fucking with his baby mama's all this extra other shit you can't too much talk about dre because dre ain't that popular but you always got blue okay you just scrambling around just trying to make ends. I don't worship my son the way y'all do. Like, nigga, you not really doing shit. You're not really doing shit for me. You're not really doing shit for yourself or your kids. You just Boo Hus, man, look, I ain't even finna. <laughs> look, Carlissa, go take a nap. Go do something. Shout out to Krishan and Julia living a best yeah. life. Way you guys want to bring guys are keeping it going. Um, Big props to Krishan. She's doing her whole football thing. Staying low, yeah, staying out of drama. And for those who motherfuckers, let me just say this, because I was just wanna reply. Yeah, Krishan doing her thing. She 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 back on the field, you feel me? Getting her football thing going on. You know. Back with her teammates, coaches, she training. 
in good shape and good spirits and all. Even got the baddie Smiley joining, coming to visit and some more shit. Shouts out to Krishan, she's doing her damn thing. Okay. Now, let me just say this. Okay. But I'm going to just leave this one with this one. Carlos, go about your business and do something with your fucking self. Everybody else is just living. Jaden doing good. She going on tour. She doing her show. She doing what she need to. Rashawn doing okay. She's she's being a wonderful mom. She tending to her kids. She doing what she need to. And she's back into sports and staying active where she wanted to be. Okay. Carlissa, from what I see, even Blueface dad doing good. You keep saying the nigga broke, he homeless, but from what I heard, he got a job, don't he? Shit. I mean, he's doing something. It seems like you're running out of money. Carlos, are you going broke? Like, what is it? Because I know Zeus ain't pay you enough for that one episode. I'm just saying. But to each his own. Y'all drop in the comments what y'all think about this episode. Your favorites, what the what you what's your main topic? Y'all tell me that. Drop in the comments. Like drop in the comments what y'all think, okay? I'm your humble host. I appreciate y'all for stopping by, Mr. Mass. Until the next one. Peace.